I'm going to address guideline number five, which is centered around interaction. Ag 100 is a one credit introductory course. It's looking at the agricultural history in Hawaii, its past, present and future. Interaction is a main area of this course and the material has been designed in order to encourage students to interact with the course material, with each other and also with the instructor. Guideline 5.1 is instructor interaction. Interaction occurs the week before classes start. I send out a welcome email. This establishes communication and it's a good opportunity to let students know how we will be communicating. Here in the syllabus you can see there are several ways for the students to contact me. I encourage each of them to email me, to come and visit during my office hours or virtually in chat room. And we also have an opportunity to meet if they actually come on optional field trips. During the semester, all students receive a reply to emails within a day, seven days a week. I always make a point of providing fast and also personalised attention. Guideline 5.2 looks at student interaction expectations. There are clear guidelines of student interactions. Um, as I scroll further down here in the syllabus, you can see class policies and expectations. I also outline the communication differences as this is an online class. And there's a note about the technology that students will need to complete the course, things like internet access. The main class page when students log in will look like this. It's an embedded Google site. It uses the weekly template from the Med Educational Media Center. At the beginning of each week, I change the landing page. This way the students see what is required of them that particular week. A list of all the due dates is emailed at the start of the semester. And also students are encouraged to use this calendar which is accessible here. In the calendar, there's a list of the due dates for assignments, and I also list my virtual office hours. An example of the individual work which students will complete is shown here. The classes of based around a role play idea. The students act as consultants for an imaginary agricultural company. They're watching videos and then replying to an email sent in by a member of the public. To simplify navigation for the students, all the links are embedded. So that they know the expectations, they are provided with a grading rubric and that way they can see what um, the assignment is being graded on. Topic 5.3 looks at an example of an activity that builds community. Forums is used to build community. And one of the first forums that they complete um, is to look at the syllabus. I have a visual syllabus and I ask students to interact with it. They select a picture and then share their thoughts on it. Often um, students will also share a picture of their own. In this case, one of the students recognized the Hanalei Valley and shared a picture of himself there. 5.4 looks at student to student interaction. Again, I use forums for this. Before the first group task, the students complete an icebreaker. This gives them a chance to get to know the group mates that they will be working with. And they also come up with a plan of how they're going to work together for the rest of the semester. And this is shown here in the team operating agreement. Students are individually held accountable for the role that they play in teamwork. To do this, they complete a debrief assignment after they have finished each of the group activities.
Guideline 5.5 looks at the interaction between the instructor and the student. All of the work that the students submit gets individual feedback from me. Usually praise for the work that they have completed, but I also like to give them some constructive criticism, suggestions for how they might improve their assignment. And I always let them know where they may have lost the points. Although forums is largely for the students to communicate, I also post a comment in there. That way, they know I'm actively engaged in their learning and I'm interested in their opinions and what they have to share. Guideline 5.6 is looking at a learning activity which supports active learning and interaction. The forum activities are scaffolded. As the semester progresses, they are building in a degree of complexity. In task one, they're really just getting to know their teammates and working out how they will collaborate. In the second task, they're looking at the agricultural history and putting together some ideas. In the third one, they really bring everything they've learned together in this final informational pamphlet, which will be shared with the public. So in summary, interaction is an important part of this course. By collaborating together, we're all sharing in the learning experience.